I mean, obviously the proof is in the pudding. I mean, and I just bring that topic up because I want people to really understand, like, not only are you an SEO guy, but you've hacked into one of the life hacks, which is creating systems that are repeatable, that work. And that's the only way you can really scale. And it, you're proof. Mm-hmm. It's, you're doing it live now. So mm-hmm. definitely, definitely a testament to who you are. Um, in addition to that, right, you're an entrepreneur. You're a full-blooded entrepreneur at this point. I mean, you got multiple different revenue streams. You got multiple things going on. Do you come from an entrepreneurial background? Any family members or entrepreneurs? Not even close. <laughs> well, my dad, my dad kind of fell into it. My dad owns his own plumbing business. So he was like a, he was like a, you know, get down dirty, like handyman for years. Um, I think he just kind of got lucky and, and he'd agree um, where he's kind of found a sweet spot where he can still be his, you know, get down dirty guy, but he's just like a one man show. He'll, he'll bring in, um, he calls them helpers. He'll bring on somebody to help him out every once in a while. Um, and he does good, you know, he, he does good for a one, a one man kind of person. Um, other than that, not even close. I am by far the black sheep in the family. Like, you know, I, I love, I love my siblings, but, um, you know, the majority of them have dropped out of high school and, and, do the just kind of the normal job kind of thing um but i i think i've yeah i'm i'm the only one that's really been like forward thinking and what can we do from here and um you know i'm kind of i'm kind of stalling and and talking because i actually had an interesting conversation yesterday with with, um i'm the oldest of seven and so i had a conversation with three of my siblings yesterday and um you know the the one thing that i get the most out of what I've accomplished and and I posted this yesterday or today on social media is that when you reach a certain point of success, um, you know, you hear that money, money doesn't make you happy and and money is an amplifier. So if you're miserable before money, you're going to be miserable after. Um, but if you have some goodness in yourself and you get money, then, then what I pride myself most on is being able to gift experiences to other people and so i talked about this morning i said money doesn't buy happiness but the, the ability it affords me to gift other people does and so the the reason why i'm um you know almost getting a little choked up here is because like my thing is literally gifting other people's experiences and so yesterday um i got my siblings on the, on the phone um which is like i couldn't even tell you the last time I got the three older ones on the phone with in one single phone call. And so I said, Hey, look, all of your guys' birthdays are coming up in the next two months. You guys want to go to the beach. And so like, and I mean that, and, and you know, this is, this is a little biased because it's my siblings, but it's, this is not the norm. The norm is complete strangers and you know, other people that I have very loose ties to there was a gentleman that um had been following me probably similar relationship to you and I you know we we know each other loosely but we have good good friendship on on social media and he he flew in from Australia and I'm in Utah and he says hey I'm flying to Las Vegas how far away is that and I said close enough and it's 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 a one hour flight for me never met the dude and so I, I he's like let's just go grab coffee or lunch or something I said yeah I'm totally down so what I did is he didn't know that not only did we go meet up for coffee, but I got a limo and I booked, um, there's a place out there called exotics racing where you can drive like supercars and Lamborghinis and Ferraris. And so I picked the dude up in a freaking limo and he's like, what in the hell is going on? And then we went out to this racetrack and I threw him in a race car with a, a professional drifting driver in it. And like, he still talks about it to this day. Um, so like, that's just my thing. I mean, a couple of years ago, I, I paid off all the student lunch debt for all the title one schools in my County, which are like low income schools. Um, the money's awesome. I, but, but the, the freedom that it gives you, I don't, I don't look at my money as like, Hey, you know, I'm financially rich or whatever you want to say, but, but I do look at it like, I like having that stability. And now that I, now that I know my bases are covered, what else can I do? And so it's, it's really fun to be able to kind of gift experiences to other people. And, um, like my wife is going on a girl's trip with some friends, um, in two weeks and she's like, I want my one friend to go. And her one friend just happened to come over that week. And I said, Hey, do you want to go? She's like, I can't afford it. Uh, and I was like, do you want to go, you know? And so, um, damn it essay. I don't know why you got me on this, but. The, this is getting me in the feels. So <laughs> it's all part of podcasting, man. 
you gotta you gotta yeah. dig deep right so i mean i i, I love it because i mean obviously we can sit here and talk about seo we talk about business all day but i mean this is the testament to who you are what kind of business person you are and your your life behind the scenes and i, I think that anybody that, that has a human factor to them could definitely relate to your messaging and they want to be where your shoes are i mean you hear about the stories with people going to supermarkets and the person in front of them is short and they have opportunities mm-hmm. to then go ahead and pay for their groceries. So you're paying it forward, not just with your education, not just with your information, but also with your heart. So I think that's a win-win situation across the board. And it's a testament to who you are. Yeah. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. When I was younger, you know, I didn't have a lot of things. Um, it, it's not like a sob story or anything, but I never had things, you know? And so that's, that's why I ended up paying off the school lunch debt because I was a beneficiary of those, those free and discounted meals and that was always something that I could appreciate in the mornings going to school and so like when when I give I try to give um, in ways that I can see the impact because that's what makes me feel good you know call me selfish but like I want to feel good in what I do so um, so it's always fun to see people go through I I couldn't tell I would bet you I'm probably close to a dozen people that I was um, they've never been on an airplane and never been to the beach I've probably flown a dozen people that have never been on an airplane, never been to the beach, mm. on an airplane to the beach. <laughs> because it's just, it's just freaking awesome seeing people light up and it lights you up. 